Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Mob Love Alternative. Ah, the CCSE. Oh yes, we will. Oh yeah, I was born ready. Oh man, seeing this is just like, it just feels like it, it was yesterday. I know, I'm prepared for that. Oh yeah, and I'm super good. Yeah, I know that too. Yep, they do it on some random tropical island, which means we will be mostly in the jungle. They do it twice a year in the summer and the winter. We're coming up on the winter one now. Yeah, because... Yep. Oh man, the binaural audio is so different in alternative and unlimited. Wow. This is Mia Kane, right? Oh, 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 well, I just remember hearing the name somewhere before, that's all. Now there's a name I haven't heard in forever. I forgot she was here, too. Does this mean I'll get sick, too? You know? Uh, you know, that, that cold or flu or whatever I got. Why the long face class rep? I think this was when I stupidly asked her why they failed the exam last time. That led to a huge argument I got lectured about how important orders are to the people of this world, while the soldiers at least. Man, I was such a rookie back then. Orders are absolute here. If you don't follow that basic principle, you can't get anything done. It's like we're out there all on our own. If you want to keep a large group of people under control, you need to have some kind of organization. And that means there's going to be a chain of command. There's no way to get an entire organization working toward a single goal if everyone's second-guessing their orders or making their own decisions. That's why there's no room for disobedience or differences of opinion. You've just got to deal with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, there were plenty of times when I wanted to give our superiors a piece of my mind. But if you want to see changes get made, it's better to just work hard and climb the ladder until you're able to make them yourself. Questioning orders is a pretty grave offense in the military. At least in this world it is. That said, after getting commissioned, I learned things are actually pretty different on the front lines. Authorities distributed, distributed among a whole bunch of commanders, leading smaller squads in more of an inverted pyramid structure. Human beings are never going to be as coordinated and disciplined as the beta, so we wouldn't stand much of a chance otherwise. Either way, it doesn't change the fact that orders need to be adhered to. Regardless of an army's organization, the most important factor will always be ensuring that orders are carried out exactly as given. Huh. Well, Ayamina, you know, you hear that? You hear that, Ayamina? You hear that? That's why as cadets, we have to get used to following seemingly absurd or unfair orders without complaint. Nothing. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Sorry. Huh? Nope. Seriously, dude. No, that's not actually. I mean, of course I'm curious, but... I didn't think Class Rep would bring this up on her own. Now that argument's gonna start up all over again. Mikiri 
主にこれが理由そ佐々木さんどどうしてそんなことわざわざ言い出すの違うね最後はあんたの指示に従って地雷原の餌食になったんだ Oh no not this again あヤミネさんまで鎧は迂回するべきだと言っていた鎧の勘が尊重されるべきことは事前に了解済みだと思っていたのだがなメイヤさん<笑>どうしようどうしようって言われても Damn it, seriously, we're having this conversation again. I think the only way to stop this bickering is for me to go, really go off on them. Hey guys. I really don't get why you felt the need to bring this up, but can I just say something? Nani? I'm gonna be really blunt here, okay? <laughs> you guys are all just playing the victim right now. <sighs> When you're trying to get a group of people to do something, you have to have some level of organization. And that means there needs to be an absolute chain of command. <sighs> yeah, we're all just cadets and it's a pretty small chain of command, so I can understand how stuff like this happens. But out on the real battlefield, things are way different. No matter the circumstances, the leaders in control and subordination can't be tolerated. If you don't like it, then get promoted and take their place with everyone's approval. That's just what it means to be part of an organization. That being said, the leaders should never forget that their subordinates' lives are in their hands. Orders may be absolute, but that doesn't mean you can do anything you want. Well, yeah, I am, but that's kind of the point. You understand what I'm saying, but you don't want to admit it makes sense, huh? Is it because of the way that I worded it? Alright, let's say you gave an order to everyone on base. How many do you think would follow that order? If the CEO for our whole base told everyone to jump off a bridge and you told them not to, how many do you think would obey you? Obviously, I don't think every single one of them would jump, but if you can't see what I'm getting at here, then you really are clueless. There's no right or wrong when it comes to an order. But stay with me here for a sec. Do you really think that the kind of person who would give a crazy order like that would make it to the top? Mm. I know the authority to give orders is responsible and skilled enough to give reasonable ones. That's a safe assumption to make, right? Hmm? Oh, she's talking about her father. Not denying that some people like that exist. I get that the people who give the orders won't always see eye to eye with the people who carry them out. Even if you have the same end goal, you might have different ideas on how to achieve it. I definitely get that. But for the ones who have to give the orders, the final objective always comes first and the lives of their subordinates come second. It's just the way things are. <laughs> Eliminate the beta and come back alive. Easier said than done, right? And when things start going to hell, what do you expect them to do? Annihilating the beta is our ultimate goal if we want to survive as a species, and it's the people in command who have to decide who gets prioritized in order to achieve that goal. You're right, you could always get an incompetent commander whose orders cause plenty of needless casualties, but on the other hand, what if you were given the best possible orders, and because you chose to ignore them, your whole unit got overrun by the beta? That's just as possible, wouldn't you say? And by the way, whether or not a death is in vain is totally subjective. Hell, I'm sure there are plenty of people who'd find the example I just gave a pretty pointless death too. No surprise that class rep agrees. I'm pretty hazy on most things, but there's one thing that still haunts me, one brutally vivid memory. Memory of the day, mankind abandoned the earth and left all those people behind. Never stood on a battlefield, but I have never ex 
All right, but I have experienced something that makes all of this very personal. Never want to feel like that again. I won't let it happen. Glad to hear it. I don't know if I got my point across, but all I really wanted to do was stop them from arguing amongst themselves. So, mission accomplished, I guess? Besides, I can't expect them to relate to how I feel when they haven't had to live through it like I have. I felt like I was talking down to you guys, didn't I? Sorry about that. However, What do you mean? Well, that was just a hypothetical. Yeah, I get what you're saying. そなたはそれを認めていながら結局は命令ならば従うという単純論に自分を収めているとしかしいついかなる場合もそこで思考を止めて良いわけではないそなたの言う自分がリーダーになるということを実践するには自分がその先を考える必要がある Wow, Maya, you're dead on. Though I probably should have known. Last time everyone ganged up on me about being ready to die, but I guess that was just them trying to whip me weak, little punk ass into shape. I, it's pretty obvious after seeing them rebuke my crazy overgeneralized argument that they don't actually feel that way. These guys know how to balance their duties with their personal opinions. I know this will sound weird after what I just said, but... Nani? For now, I think we can probably get by just relying on our relationships with one another in a sense of camaraderie. Mm. In other words, we should be just fine for the time being. That said... Yeah. Huh? But. Hey, can I ask you something real quick, though? Why'd you even bring up the whole failing the evaluation thing to begin with? Wait, seriously? Crap. I guess I played right into your little scheme, huh? Well, it at least means that you were one step ahead of me, right? Yeah. Wow, that. Oh. Oh man, everything's fuzzy in my head as, as to like in the past and everything. This is getting crazy. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying all this now. Oh my gosh. I want to come back to Alternative just to see how far we are in the back. And oh my gosh, it's. Oh. Now we know and it feels great. I love that. I love this time travel stuff so much. But anyways, I'm going to end the episode here, everybody, for Mob Love Alternative. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so awesome. Ah. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.